This is Brendan, and this is my first vlog for the Fellowship of the Open Spoke. So I'm happy to be here. Um, it's been a really tough week. I know a lot of people have uh, earlier in the week with Boston and everything like that. It's been tough for them. But we've gathered ourselves together, and, and life goes on. Today's topic, this week's topic, is how do we envision education in the next five years? And I really liked what Jazz and Kirsten had to say, and I would say the same thing, except, of course, they've already said it. So I'll move on and, and talk a little bit. Actually, I'm going to start with the history. Um, before 200 years ago, there were agrarian society, or before that, hunter-gatherer society. So education really wasn't that important for the average person. It was important for the, the elites and those who could pay for it. And so they got educated. When the Industrial Revolution came along, we realized that we needed more than just a few people educated. We need most people educated. And Horace Mann was uh, kind of the, the man who started public education in, in the U.S. Um, so education became something for the masses. But they didn't need separate educations. They didn't need a, an individual education. They all needed basic education to be successful in the world that was the industrial age. Well, we moved into the computer age, the information age. So I guess what I'm saying is if Horace Mann wasn't there 200 years ago, somebody else would have created the public edu education system that we know today, something to get people educated enough to, to survive in the workforce. Uh, today, we don't need that factory-style education where everybody gets the same thing. We need a more individual education. Um, and that's something that some of the uh, my fellows have, have spoken with earlier. They've called it personalized education. But really, we're moving away from personalized education into uh, more of a individualized education. As I see a personalized education, and, and I think they probably agree with me when they hear this, is that uh, we all had this a goal for students. You know, for the last couple hundred years, it's been all students need to read and write and basic math. And computers were originally, you know, all tech originally has come in to get to that goal. Radio, uh, television, video, all this stuff has come in and they've kind of said, here's the goal, here's a lesson, watch the lesson. Uh, and computers really, there's been a huge push lately to say, oh, let's test our students and map out their personal goals. So it's a personalized education for each student to get to the same spot. But that's the problem. The world has changed. And that's caused people a lot of pain because people don't like to change. But we have to. We have to change our idea of education from everybody gets to the same place to everybody gets to the place where they need to be. And I think that's the change that's going to happen in education in the next five years. We're going to the progressive educators and the reform educators are butting heads right now, but they're going to come to an agreement. Education needs to be, to be individualized for students. They need to, um, as Adam Toffler said, 40 years ago, I guess it is now, the illiterates of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read or write, but those who cannot learn and unlearn. And that is where education needs to go in the next five years. So thank you for listening.